Hi guys, what's up? I'm Kola here to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. If you're a return subscriber, I really do appreciate you coming back. This is your case for the very first time. My name is Jacinta. I'm a just vlogger, a just YouTuber based in Fifty City, just Nigeria. Yeah. So if you like what you see, this considering this beautiful, beautiful YouTube family, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, specifically to join this family. Okay, and turn on the notification, turn on the notification bell just below to get notified notified whenever I upload a video. Please, your likes are important. Okay, help me like this video so we can get to a lot of people and help them because this is what this channel is all about. And that's that or oh, that's big sister figure that comes here to talk to my younger ones. Okay, and even not my younger ones, just anybody that needs help. And that person that will tell you the truth as it is, you will know, you put that my OGs that are watching from the very beginning, you will know that, yeah, that is the kind of person I am. So, in order to really help people and reach people, I need you guys to like my videos so YouTube can recommend my videos to other people, okay? Thank you guys, even as you guys comply, I really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's dive into the business of today. Guys, what I'm about to talk about is actually a very controversial. It's not controversial, but dicey, right? Dicey in this. You will understand why I said it's dicey, but let's just get into the video of today. So today I'm just talking about third parties, right? Third party in relationships, marriages, and all of that. The places of third parties should we actually involve third parties in our marriage or relationships, or should we not? Right? Let's just let's give a clear definition and a clear distinction of whether we should or not right when it is bad or not i must say because i saw something on instagram and it got me thinking i was i was burdened in my spirit like no i have to come here and talk about this thing so people don't fall victim of this same thing again let's get the perspective straight let's get it straight let's set the, the record straight so that people don't fall victim of these things right? people say ah it's not good about third parties they were they were they were third parties home. Third parties are these, they will spoil your marriage, they will scatter your marriage. Yes, that one day, but yeah, let me let me delve, let me give you guys the other dimension of perspective because everything that happens in this life has two sides, right? There are two sides of the coin. That first side that people say don't do don't evolve, don't evolve, don't evolve is true, but there's another perspective to that issue. Let's delve into the future of today, please. So that's something you want to hear, I want to learn, I want to hear what I have to say, follow me through, okay. I saw this post on Instagram of this lady that attended her friend's wedding. Uh, it is to the wedding, they lodged at the hotel as usual, everything was fine, everything was good. Then the best man brought ladies to the hotel, right? And according to her, this her friend in question, that's the bride to be, was already pregnant. So she goes to bed really early. You guys know how pregnant women are, they go to bed really early and all of that. So um, when the best man brought the men, she was asleep. Do you understand? When she brought the men, when the uh, sorry, when the best man brought the women, she was asleep. Okay, but the friend knew. So according to story, this man brought the best. Uh, oh shit! I keep missing. Sorry, forgive me. Like, this best man brought the women to the hotel, and according to the story, it was said that this man had even slept with one of the women that the best man brought, but she didn't know because she was asleep due to her condition, right? So, um, I think the friend, now I will leave the clip before this video or at this point of this video, I don't know, before the video so you guys can read and understand what I'm talking about. So, I think long story cut short, you know, the friend comforted the husband and all of that and, you know, the friend comforted the bride, which was her friend, I think, you, you guys read it, and then the, uh, the, the bride comforted the husband and then, you know, he fled up when she, when she spoke to him about it and everything, it was just, it just Michelle Gagra now. And then, um, he now started calling her names like mad woman, just abusive names. In front of people, though, in front of everybody that was there, he was insulting the woman. Hmm. So, the friend, the, bri the bride was now begging the friend not to tell her parents. Actually, she's not telling anybody, she's not telling her parents. Okay, now, put this into perspective. People say, uh, don't involve third parties, don't involve, don't involve third parties. Yes. Don't involve third parties in your relationship with your marriage because they, nobody really knows your marriage like you do, right? People cannot really come and tell you how to 
deal with your marriage because you are in a better place to know or to tell how your partner is, how your partner is, what works for your partner and all of that stuff. That one day. And there's a people that are actually are devil's incarnates that will come to scatter your marriage just because you chose to confide in them. So that's why they say don't involve third parties. The, 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 the people were advising me uh, one day, experienced people and they're like, one of the things that I got as advice was don't involve third parties. If you have issue with your husband, settle it with your husband. Don't, nobody has to know about it. Settle it in your house and let it die. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, right? Which is normal thing to do, right? You have an issue with your husband, you settle it. Yeah, you can, you can settle it between yourselves. But let me tell you when it is not it is not applicable. Let me tell you in what aspect this whole third party is not applicable. Now, in the case where you have someone that has traits of being abusive right be it emotional verbal which are almost like the same thing right someone that has a tendency to how do you know someone that has a tendency to abuse first of all he wants he wants to isolate you from people that he knows can help you right he wants to isolate from people that he knows can give you help secondly he wants to hide under the umbrella of you now twist that don't evolve third party team to now suit his wickedness you not tell you the water party so that this this lady was thinking she was trying to save her marriage or she was trying to uh, save her wedding from being from not being called off or from falling apart but she's going to suffer she's going to suffer it like she, in fact she hasn't started seeing shege yet the shege that she will see is not here because that means you just she, she, even if uh, even if after they get married you just be living his life like a single man that is now that has now become an open marriage Mm, he will go and do what he wants to do, sleep with everyone wants to sleep with. He doesn't even regard her, he doesn't have respect for her. You see her here begging for, I don't know if it was because she was pregnant too, or it's because she feels like, ah, if this one go, when with the next one, I don't know what her reason was for telling different not telling anybody, but at that point, I would say, involve third party. Involve, even 10. If I'm involved, 10. Involve 10 people. Ah! Hey! That's why tomorrow now they say, ah, hey, yeah, and she was a nice woman, no, but she died. That's how this useless man has resulted in cutting her short. No, <laughs> it's because of those evil third party. That is how they get to where they are now. So let's not even start saying any, now they the cause this kind of thing. You're, you, you're, in a, you're in a situation where it feels life threatening. Evil third party. There has to be somebody that you can talk to that will talk to whoever it is that's messing up at that time. If you guys try to resolve this issue between yourselves as couples and you guys are not making headway. Are you guys hearing me? Hear me or let someone not come and tell me rubbish in the comment section. If you share your hand if you guys try to solve this issue as a couple, you people have tried everything that you know how to do, all the peace and, re peace and resolution conflict though, and you know what, what you do, you involve top eh? The, don't even waste time with involve third party. If it's a case of okay, he's abusing you, like I said, and then whenever you threaten to talk to somebody else, or, or whenever you talk to somebody else, he feels bad or he feels angry that like he spoke to somebody else about him, my dear. Tell him next time you tell him next time you try it again, I'm, because you will not kill me before my time. Tell him next time you try this again, I'm going to talk. So you cannot tell me, you see, any, anything that happens between couples, eh, or between anybody. You buy a relationship, relationship, marriage, anything, and that person tells you, Don't tell anybody. That's good, you know. Eh? If you know that you have to. In case you have to get scared, in case you have to get scared, me and the chair, you can't Talk, oh! Anyone that tells you, Eh, don't do a both top party, and they are cheating you, that's how people die because of doing a both top party. That's how people die because of no one to protect my husband that's not pitying you. You decided to protect that husband. Eh? They were the, the people they talk about this top party you know, That is not what they mean by doing top party. My dear, involve third, even 20, 20 party, involve them. Your whole village, call them. Uh uh. Hmm. That is how women suffer for nothing because of third. They say, because they say, I do involve top party. You put it into context. What do they mean by that? They mean, it's not everything that happened in your house that you carry and tell everybody. Uh, that one, they know be everything will happen for your place or for your career and go on the uh, uh, broadcast. But if it is a situation whereby that person is not listening to you and you are suffering for it, my dear, speak up. If you, if you want to speak on megaphone, look on megaphone and talk. Uh-uh. 
Hey, it seems if, if you don't do carry out things, go somewhere first, go do retreat. If in a better man, in go come in sense, it's gonna look for you. Women don't collect rubbish. Let's say women die in marriage because of what they say, eh, till death was part. Yes, till death was part. But women, please, don't anything I feel like is a threat to your life. Whatever, that, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. Don't mess with anything that is a threat to your life and your peace. Eh? Talk, oh. Talk, oh. Don't, don't, don't say, man, they should not have a third party. You will die because of third party. Talk. It might not be easy, but. Someone that courage, cause someone that courage, uh, someone that courage to talk, talk, say it, find help. Why do people, why do people go for therapy? Why do people go for therapy? That therapy is a third party. Why do people go for therapy, right? All these things you should ask yourself questions. That's why I should know that this third party thing is all about putting into context. We're not saying every if pin drop in your house, I not say for that. Hey, pin not pin not drop in my house. So nobody thinks they talk with that, but. Things that affect your life and your happiness, talk about it. Talk, oh, talk, oh. That's, that, that's my take on this thing. If not, you still enter that marriage and see shaggy. You will still be in that marriage and your, and, and your happiness. That is not what God intends for us, oh. as Christians, but there should be married and, and you should be depressed. Yeah. You should be married and you should be married and you're mentally derailed. You can't be married and you're scared of your husband. Ha, this marriage thing is a partnership thing, no. Obviously, everybody has roles to play as a man, as a woman. Let me tell you guys from the beginning itself. Let me tell you from from Bible, from Bible perspective. You people that don't come here and not talk to you guys about Bible. Any man that cannot love you as a woman, according to Ephesians three, three, what's the Bible verse? Ephesians three, I'll put it on the screen. Any woman that cannot do marriage, the Ephesians three, because the men have their own rule, the women have their own rule. Any but they cannot. Do marriage according to Ephesians 3. <clears throat> ah, you clearly don't have the Holy Spirit in you. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you. You're clearly not doing marriage the right way because that's not how marriage is supposed to be. Marriage is supposed to be rooted and founded on that Ephesians 3 where everybody has responsibilities. The man has his own responsibilities. The man has what she should do. I'm not saying, okay, go and tell everybody. You know, be say, you as you must say, you as you must say, you must. Go the go the ginger go the talking out to your husband go the back back to the gospel in the heart and go lie about this guy just my baby but if I see my can I respect your husband then now you get anything you they look for now you they find trouble and here so now so now you come they talk with him be your fault do you understand I'm talking about people that are genuinely harmless yet they are suffering in marriage or relationships like this woman. Life has not ended though. He's not the last one of men, no. She ba alternative numbers are bunny. Like like my mom you see, see, you say, well, yeah, you are not the last born of men. They are men, men plenty. So why subject your life to such um unhappiness, right? So that's just what this video is about. So when people say I ah, don't involve top party, don't, don't involve top party, this is what they mean by don't involve top party. Simply put, do not carry your fa your family issues. Not everything that happens in it. Don't carry anything that happens in your family outside. Nobody broadcast them. Everybody must not know what you're going through in your marriage. But if it, if it becomes life threatening, talk. That's what I just came to say. Talk. I will not say don't involve people. Talk. Speak up. Uh -huh. Because now they say, ah, she died. Well, you don't know. What a nice woman. <laughs> Meanwhile, the culprit is working there, a free man. It could even be vice versa, master. It doesn't have to be that the man is on abusing the lady. It could be that the lady master is at this one abusing the man. Why do you ask a man? You talk to somebody, somebody that, that you know she can listen to, right? So involve top parties when necessary and let's put it into context, please. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do all those good stuff. Um, if you agree, if you disagree, let me know down in the comment section. Let's interact, let's talk. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!